Hello everybody, and thank you for your interest in our course in quantum physics. In this first introductory video, I'm going to give you an overview of the course. I'll tell you about the course logistics, the grading policy, and we also will discuss in more detail the material that is actually going to be covered in the course. But first of all, I would like to introduce again the instructors, that is uh, Charles Clark uh, and uh, myself, Victor Galitsky. We both are theoretical physicists working on quantum science uh, at the Joint Quantum Institute, or just JQI, at the University of Maryland. Uh, JQI is a very exciting place where there is a lot of wonderful science being done on a daily basis, uh, both in experimental physics and uh, theoretical physics. So there are a number of uh, very talented students working with us, for example, these two guys here. And this, by the way, is a picture of a new building coming up where JQI will be uh, located. Both the University of Maryland and JQI are situated in the Washington DC area in the United States. So this is the beltway surrounding uh, uh, Washington DC. And uh, this is the White House here. And we're about uh, five miles or so from the White House. So um, we, uh, the JQI, are always looking for uh, talented students uh, to work with us, uh, students and postdocs. So if you are interested uh, and would like to know more, please uh, visit our website here, jqiumd.edu. Uh, well, you certainly can learn uh, more about the JQI and about uh, the science that we do by going to our website and searching the internet. Uh, we, on our side, unfortunately, um, know very little about you. So what we do know is that there are about uh, 25,000 uh, students signed up for our course. And um, that's it. So there is nothing else we know about you, unfortunately. Uh, so, well, Coursera has your email addresses and we can use uh, this database to send you uh, uh, course announcements. But apart from that, we, know we don't know anything about uh, your interests, uh, your expectations for the course. Uh, your future plans and it would be very helpful for us uh, to have a little bit uh, of information about that. So we'd love to know more and uh, so in this context I would like to emphasize please uh, complete a survey that you will find on the class uh, page on Coursera. It will take you maybe 30 seconds or a minute of your time to do so but it will be very helpful for us to understand uh, your expectations and also to uh, gauge the level of the um, material that actually will be presented. So some of the lectures have already been recorded, but uh, in the second part of the course, uh, the second part of the course hasn't been recorded yet. And so uh, this information will be really helpful. So now let me talk about the course uh, logistics. Uh, so as you know, this is an eight week course. There will be eight weeks of lectures, two lectures per week or well, 16 lectures total. I assume you can do the math here. So each lecture will consist on the average of uh, four segments, uh, 10 to 20 minutes each. And uh, this will um, add up to about two uh, hours of video content uh, a week. So there will be uh, one, two individual quizzes in each segment. Uh, those are not gonna be graded. So this is sort of to keep you awake to make sure you're still listening. And uh, there will be one homework uh, every week, which will be graded. So, uh, and there will be seven homeworks total. And in the last week, we're gonna have a final exam, which also will be graded. So I will discuss grading policy a little uh, later. So one thing I would like to emphasize here, uh, you know, under this uh, course logistics is that there will be a dis discussion forums and you should definitely take advantage of these discussion forums. So if you have any questions or comments, or maybe you find a typo in the lecture, or, you want to learn something, you have some suggestions, so please uh, uh, use the discussion forum. So uh, first of all, your fellow students may be able to help you to answer some of your questions, or uh, actually we also will be uh, monitoring uh, the discussion forums, uh, keeping an eye on uh, good questions and good students. Uh, and uh, also we actually will have a dedicated student uh, on our side, sort of monitoring the activity there. So use the discussion forums, it's very important. So a little more about our lectures. So just to remind you, this is a graduate slash uh, advanced undergraduate level uh, quantum physics course, which automatically implies that there will be a lot of math involved. So, and also remember that both uh, your instructors are theoretical physicists. We actually don't know anything else but math. So 
be prepared to see uh, quite a lot of math. But on our side, we also realized that among, uh, among you, among the students who are registered for our class, so there are different variations in the level of mathematical preparation. So we tried uh, to uh, have different levels also in our lectures. So some, some, video, some videos are going to be pretty simple with no math involved. Some videos are actually going to involve pretty complicated stuff. So, and we um, came up with the uh, sort of ranking uh, uh, of our videos by their level of mathematical complexity. So, you will see maybe one or two uh, video segments with three stars, which imply that they do involve very complicated math. And those will be sort of op optional for everybody. So, you don't have to watch them if you're, it's not going to affect uh, your uh, final grade. So, unless you're really interested and you want to go through the details, uh, you can skip them safely. It's not going to, um, it's not going to affect it very much. Uh, but otherwise, you know, I would encourage you, of course, to listen to all the material that we uh, put together. Now, uh, there will be quite a few uh, lectures uh, with uh, two stars, which uh, will uh, uh, involve the standard sort of quantum mechanics um, advanced uh, math. So, let's say differential equations, Fourier transforms, uh, delta function. Um, so, these uh, kinds of things are going to appear pretty often in the course. And um, uh, in this case, for a non-technical student, so I, I assume there are quite a few of you who are, uh, don't really want to go through the calculations. You're just interested in quantum physics, you've heard something, you're interested, you think it's fun, you want to know a little more about it. So in this case, I would suggest that you definitely should skip the three stars and you maybe should uh, listen to the beginning of the lectures with two stars, uh, which I normally will try to provide a summary of the results in the beginning so that even if you don't understand uh, all the calculations, you can still uh, sort of get the main idea. So in this case, basically what I'm saying is that you, you can listen just to part of uh, uh, the lectures with two stars and um, this would be fine. Now, uh, there will be lectures uh, with uh, just one star, which will uh, imply that there is some math involved, uh, but it's not really crucial to understand the main results. So you may watch it and uh, it's not uh, it's not about math. It's about some other things. So and um, uh, finally there will be uh, lectures with no uh, ranking in some sense. So those just uh, those don't really involve uh, heavy math uh, and um, um, Anybody can listen to them whether or not you have physics background or math background uh, you, you still should be able to understand now. Let me say a few words about the uh, material that you're actually going to learn in this class so this is uh, the syllabus uh, page for our course on Coursera. So uh, you, you can take a look at it, so it's available already. So um, uh, let me mention, first of all, that we did not even try to uh, cover all conceivable aspects of quantum physics in this eight-week uh, online course. I don't think it's possible. So even uh, when we teach our graduate students here, so already had uh, some exposure to quantum physics, so it takes about a year for us to cover all aspects of quantum physics. And then there are some advanced uh, courses on top of that. So um, it takes some time well, to uh, learn uh, quantum mechanics at the professional level. But I think we have a very good selection of topics here nevertheless. So uh, among them, I would uh, like to emphasize uh, this um, uh, Feynman formulation of quantum theory that I personally like very much. I think it's one of the most elegant um, uh, theories developed by Feynman in quantum theory. So, and uh, in the fourth week, we're actually going to get to rather modern uh, results, so uh, so-called quantum localization. So, um, we're also going to discuss a little bit the uh, theory of superconductivity, which is another fascinating phenomenon. Uh, which relies on quantum science. Uh, so uh, Charles will start his lectures in the fourth week, uh, and he's going to talk about the very important problem of uh, hydrogen atom. He discussed atomic spectra and present a solution to the uh, Schrodinger equation in the Coulomb potential. So it's a very important um, re result. So he'll talk about symmetry and conservation laws in quantum physics. So uh, later on, actually, we'll uh, touch upon um, modern developments, more modern developments in the quantum science, such as, for instance, the quantum Hall effect and uh, very modern developments, so-called topological insulators. Uh, some of you might have heard about now. So, uh, and um, in the end of the course, we're going to talk about other interesting phenomena, time-dependent quantum mechanics, uh, topological very phase, uh, uh, quantum optics, uh, um, and uh, lasers in the last week. So, uh, the last lecture, uh, we 
sort of keep it open so we, we don't know yet what's going to happen uh, uh, in the last lecture so uh, it may it will much depend on actually your interest your response let's say if you request something in uh, the discussion forum so we may decide to cover it in the last lecture so we'll see about that um, but all in all I think it's a very good selection of topics and you're gonna learn uh, well the basics of quantum mechanics and also some advanced topics so the last comment here I'd like to make is that you know when you read a new book uh, on anything so uh, before you get to the action you know it takes some time to introduce characters you know and well sometimes you know you may find it a little boring and um, uh, likewise, you know, before we can get to uh, the action in some sense here in quantum mechanics, it will take me, uh, well, a few lectures to uh, introduce the basics, to, to remind you uh, or, t you know, tell you a little more about the history of quantum mechanics, how it was actually discovered, uh, the main equations that govern quantum behavior, uh, and uh, tell you about uh, the mathematical formalism. So, and I would encourage you to, uh, you know, keep with me during these uh, first uh, few weeks before we get to the interesting stuff. Which is, uh, which is going to appear a little later. Finally, let me talk about the grading policy. So I assume that it might be of interest to uh, many of you who would like to get a certificate of uh, accomplishment. So uh, the grading uh, is going to be based entirely on your homeworks. So there will be seven homeworks for uh, each week. In the end of the week, there will be homework. And uh, these uh, seven homeworks are going to contribute 70% uh, to your course grade. And finally, in the last week, there will be a final exam, which essentially is a, a long homework, which will cover all the topics we will have studied by that time. And uh, the final exam will constitute 30% uh, of the course grade. So uh, each assignment will have a soft due date uh, where uh, you will get uh, the full credit for whatever you uh, have done by that time and a hard due date after which uh, no uh, submissions will be accepted. So, and there will be some penalty, you know, after the uh, soft uh, due date, 5% five, 5 per page um, is, I think, what's recommended by Coursera. Um, now, um, in the end, we are going to issue two types of certificates, uh, either regular or with distinction, and the precise cutoff for those will be uh, determined later. So it, it will be curved based on the performance of other students. But I would estimate that uh, 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 regular certificate uh, cutoff will be around let's say 60 percent of the grades so you will have to provide 60 percent of correct answers and uh, the um, uh, certificate with distinction will be at about 90 percent so but otherwise I think it will be pretty democratic uh, sort of grading uh, policy and uh, most of you who uh, make an effort to complete the homeworks uh, are, are going to do very well Okay, and after all, if you don't want to do the homework, it's fine too. If you just want to listen to some lectures, uh, of course, you should feel free to do so. Uh, and uh, we understand, of course, that you all have busy schedules and other things to do. So just have fun. Okay, and I'll see you uh, in the first lecture uh, soon.